check he's brought it down shot oh he's hit the bar aqua scored aqua has scored we are winning um are winning 2-1 2-1 morecambe full time 2-1 loss versus morecambe there'll be a review to come in about 20 minutes time Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy Diversity back on a Saturday afternoon for what we've all been waiting for, another Southend United game. This time we are away to Crawley. What can I say? We desperately, desperately need to pay, take some points home here today. We are sitting rock bottom of the table, minus, I think it's nine goal difference, might be six off the top of my head. But no, Crawley, really good start so far. Definitely up there. I think believe they're in the top six. I think it's third off the top of my head, but it's definitely up there in the top six. Crawley looking like a very, very dangerous team these last few weeks. Managed to nick the game last week against Oldham. They beat them 3-2. And just reading up here in front of me on my screen, striker Tom Nichols, who plays for them, has had a terrific start from the season. He's come from Bristol Rovers on a permanent transfer. And in his first three games, he scored three goals, maybe two goals. He's assisted in both those and he helped them win their last two games. Definitely, definitely not what we want to come up against this weekend, I feel. But no, as I said at the beginning, we need to be taking home some points, though. What else can we say? We need something from today's game. We can't keep sitting back, waiting for points to eventually drop for us, we need to go out there straight from the, from the first whistle, get these points and just keep pushing the game all along. Don't give in to anything. Don't look weak or sit, do anything silly. Just take the game to them, force them to make early mistakes, early errors, and just keep it rolling from there. Team news, I think, is meant to be announced in about 10 minutes time, so hopefully we'll get some good team news. I'm hoping to see Akinola start. He might be able to qualify for the subs bench. We're definitely looking for a striker, and also with the late departure of Isaac Hutchinson, we are definitely going to be needing some more midfielders soon. Speaking of Isaac Hutchinson, I am going to be bringing out another Shrimpers Talk, Shrimpers Blues Talk, whatever I'm calling these episodes nowadays. I change them every time I make them. But no, I'm definitely going to be bringing one of those out next week. Leave your comments down below if you're looking forward to seeing one of those. I haven't done one in about three weeks now, and there's been a lot of activity going on, so I think it's time I start playing catch-up and all that. But as always, boys and girls, thank you to all the new subscribers around here. I've seen, I've been keeping an eye on the subscribers. <laughs> Been keeping an eye on the subscriber count lately. And I've got to say, I've seen all the new subscribers coming in. We went up from, I think it was the beginning of September, 293, 292. And we're now on 324, 325. We are definitely doing what I'm loving to see. I'm loving all of you guys welcoming your new faces. It makes me feel much better as a person, seeing that you guys are liking it, subscribing, commenting, messaging me on the, in, in, on the Instagram and the Twitter. I can't get my words right today, as always. But no, I'm just loving every minute of it, hoping you guys are enjoying it, and I can't wait to keep bringing you more team news shortly. All right, lad, it is the team news today. I'll put it up here as per usual. Starting off, similar team as last week, but a few changes which I feel are much better for this team this week and makes it seem a lot more stronger. Oxy's still back in the net. Had a decent game last time out compared to his first game against Harrogate, which we're not going to talk about. Elvis stays in the score. Hobson stays, but two new defenders in Harry Lennon and Tonkler. But so glad to see those two back. Lennon, that big lump we need. In pre-season, I heard all the talk about him that he looked really good and he could be really handy. And Clifford, hopefully he can keep going where he left off last season left back he was a class at there no one could have faulted him nothing wrong with him at all into the midfield now Egbury I'm 50-50 on him he does give a lot of work he gives all his heart to the game but obviously it's when you're five foot whatever it's a bit hard but no Still keeping the faith. Egbury in there. Dimitri and Carl Taylor. Thought last week they played really well together. Considering Taylor had only been at the club for a couple of hours before. And, and yeah, feel he and Dimitri in the middle is a perfect ratio and can work really well. And then Nathan Ralph out on the left. Think it's his time to shine. He's great with his crosses and he doesn't have to rush back to defend as much now. So I think we've got a little bit of a star there. And then Emil Aqua and Brandon Goodship up top. Same as last week. Aqua awarded the goal for last week instead of it being an own goal. Great to see. That'll do with his confidence a world of good. No McCormack unfortunately he still misses out with injury as does John White but Timmy Dieng on the bench always helps that always gives that experience on there so let's see how we go come on Blues also boys and girls just before we kick off here about 10 minutes to go with the cupper in the hand I just realised Glenn Morris the ex south End goalkeeper is actually playing for Crawley it took me a minute to clock that I just looked at the team and saw Glenn Morris he used to play for us and he actually is he's a 37 year old keeper now Jeez, good fair play to him though. 37 stopping the keeper. This is Buffon in disguise. 
Shoes. I just generally did not realise that for a couple of seconds. I thought, I just had to search up. Did he play for us? Yeah, he did. Shoot. Fair play to you, Glenn. Fair bloody play. Blues with the kickoff here. Eggbury standing in the middle. Referee waving up to both goalies, seeing for ready. And we are off. Come on, Blues. Get into this early. Get harassing them. And make sure your camera doesn't fall over like that. <laughs> Crawley in the box. Cleared out. Hobson's managed to keep that out. Crawley looking dangerous early on here. Pass to the edge of the box is just cut out, luckily, and the shot is deflected and managed to clear out for a throw in though. Jeez. Elvis in the penalty area, working through a shot. Oh, Morris has had to make a save. Holy shit. Hobson just played in a lovely ball there. Buono did the fullback, put it over his head into the box, and it is just saved by Glenn Morris there. Whoa, that was a really quick play there, boss, and it nearly really worked. Keep doing it, boys. Free kick, Crawley here. Edge of the box, near the throw-in line. I don't know what I'm saying there. Eggbury, good chip and all. Don't know why Eggbury's in the wall, but uh, you know he might pull out a wonder block. Waiting for the whistle. The referee taking his time to move on over. Come on, go on. Whistle just gone there. Come on, send it in. Number three plays it low. Edge of the box. Number ten. Go, go. Crawley, one nil. Good play. Really got to say, that was good play by them. He just ran away. I can't tell who it was. Was it the number three? I think it is. He ran away. I'll see now. I'm just watching the video. Ran away from his marker. Now it's buffering. He ran away from his marker. No one picked him up. And it's just bang. It was number 10, actually. Sorry. Who's just put it in the corner there. Al Voxley's reached. No one followed him. And yeah. 1-0 down. Within 20 minutes. Long afternoon ahead. Ralph. 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 No. <laughs> Ralph got under it. He was just outside the six yard box. Good shit playing a low ball to him and he's just put his foot under it and it's gone over. Oh, that was the chance. Lovely ball. He kept on side, did the defenders and just put his foot under it instead of curling it or just hitting it hard. Oh, come on, Blues. Bueno out right it, out wide, cutting it in. Handball, surely. That must be. No, it's not. He's won it back and it's good. That, how is that not a handball, ref? Wake the feck up. Elvis out wide in. No one close to him. He plays it in central to Dimitri. Dimitri trying to get past the crawling midfield there. Nice little ball to Goodship. Left to Ralph. Back through. Goodship, please. No, he's miscontrolled it and it's cleared. 44 minutes on the clock. That was a great chance and we're still coming forward. Come on, Blues. Half time now, boys and girls, 1 0 to Crawley. And yeah, I've got to say, before the goal, we did look a bit mm, a bit sloppy, a bit like we hadn't learnt much from last week, that we were still feeling the effects of all the losses we've had recently. But ever since that goal has gone in, I've got, I felt we've picked up the level superbly well. I think that's been put across the training camp during the week that once you go down, just don't give up, keep going. I've got to say, Ever since that 22nd minute goal, I'd say for the last 15 or so minutes, we've been firmly in control. Just towards the end of the half, good couple of chances that unfortunately didn't go in. But hey, we are putting the Crawley defence and midfield under pressure, which is what we've been needing to do for a long time to teams, just not to give in. Unlike last weekend, before we went in at half-time and conceded the goal, came out in the second half, heads were down, and it just did not look good, and we got absolutely smashed in the second half. Got to say... Just before half-time now, and these last 15 minutes, like I've said, brilliant play, brilliant stuff. Dimitri, brilliant in the midfield. Carl Taylor so far, mad the match. Br picking out balls, Brantley. Hobson as well, and Lennon, both centre-backs, pinging balls over the top. Maybe just missing a couple, but most of them on target, either going to Aqua or going through to Nathan Ralph. And they've got to say, it's been really good so far to watch these final few minutes. It doesn't feel like we're losing this game. It feels like it should be a draw right now. Hopefully, we come back out in the second half and perform and just pick up that level one more step. And then I feel we might be able to edge this here and take a draw back to Essex. Also, boys and girls, if you're not following me on Twitter in the background there, make sure you get hitting up. Links are in the description. Be with you shortly for the second half. Come on, Blues! Clifford going forward here. Into good shit. Aqua! 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 Straight at Morris. He was through one-on-one, -on -one and it was saved by Glenn Morris, the experienced goalkeeper. 51 minutes in. Clear-cut chance. Missed. Come on, Blues. Put them away. Got to say now, defence is also liven up here. Crawley have had the last three attacks, all try to chip balls through over the defence, and they've all just gone out for the goal kick each time. Defence look a lot more stronger, a lot more vision towards the start of this second half. Hopefully, we're all going to keep this going. All players of the pitch are doing well. Just saying this, throw into Southend, out on the wing. I believe Crawley are about to make a change here. 
Crawley, edge of the box here. Played into the box. Nice little back heel by Nichols. Cut out to, by Dimitri. Still going, still going. Free shot. He has missed a sitter. <laughs> The number 11, basically open shot, no defenders around him from the penalty spot, has skied it over the bar and has hit the stand just above the goal there. Holy fook, we've just been let off. A easy goal there and he's got it actually out of the stadium. Come on boys, that's the let off. Now let's take it. South Fenny United substitution, an odd one almost. Tom Clifford, who's had a, quite a blinder of the game, to be fair, taken off for Richard Taylor here. I don't think there's any injury worries. However, Taylor now slotting in at that left-back role, which he has been playing in in pre-season. Quite odd, but hey, let's see if it works. Come on, Blues. Good ship, try a challenge here. 25 yards is out. Eggbury, ball into the back post. Goal! Yes! Ralph has scored! Ralph has done an overhead kick and scored. Holy shit, we scored! It was coming. You cannot deny that it was coming. We have scored. We might be taking a point off this. That is so fucking deserved. Oh my God, Nathan Ralph. You have my babies. Have them all. Oh my God. Yes, beautiful cross. Eggbury assist. Lovely little floated ball into the back post. Beats Glenn Morris with the overhead kick. The celebrations tell it all. That was deserved. Coming. We have scored a goal. Oh my God. This is brilliant stuff. The players are just excited. I'm gassed about this. Yes, I'm gassed about a draw. I don't care. We need the points. Come on, Blues! 89 minutes on the clock, just approaching 90 now. Brandon Goodchick, I've got to say today, no one could slate this man. He set up so many chances for us. And to be fair, he's probably one of the standouts from this game, if not the man of the match. Lewis Gar coming on to replace him in for the final couple of minutes. Sitting more midfield now. We've got to hold this off. Extra time is three minutes been shown by the official. Three minutes of extra time here. And we have just managed to clear the ball half up the field to Carl Taylor. And we are on an attack now. See you shortly if we don't score. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, 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 Diang, I love you. Just denied Crawley's number nine there. Crawley are all over it these last few minutes. Aquam trying to win the ball back in midfield for us. Unfortunately, doesn't. Crawley coming forward here again. Their number 12 looking to set him something up. He's played out wide to the number 10. No one marking him. Back post over the head of the number nine. Eggbury do something magical. Okay, Eggbury has won it. Just kick it. There is one minute left of this game and we have taken a point. Just hit it away. Oxley. Oh my God. The number nine German in red for Crawley has just been denied expertly. He is been played through almost. Oxley has got down, made a brilliant challenge with his foot there, and the ball has just gone out. I don't know what it is. We booed it out the field. We have 20 seconds left to survive. Hoof down the field by Glenn Morris, the goalkeeper for Crawley here. Out wide. Egbury has got to do something here. He's got to get involved. He's got to just do a challenge. 15 seconds left on the clock. We're going to let this clip play through here. 10 seconds. It's just playing in the midfield for now. Crawley trying to make their way down the line. Into the number 39. Fr Free kick to South End. Free kick. Oh, wait, are we going? Oh my God, we we literally just passed the ball. Dimitri was running and it's been called back, but three minutes has gone. Three minutes has gone. What's going on? Here's, okay, the first yellow card of the game's coming. I'm going to pause this clip here now. Free kick to South End. Oxley hoofs it down the field and. Wait, wait, not blown yet, not blown, not blown. Aqua with the head, down to guard. Guard, full-time whistle has gone. We have taken a point from the team in the top six. All the players, or most of them, collapsed to the floor. They're exhausted from what they've done. A last five-minute goal from Nathan Ralph has managed to secure a point at Crawley. There'll be a review to come, hopefully, in the next 20 minutes. Although I said that last time, it did take quite a while. So hopefully, in the next 20 minutes, there will be a review coming at this end. But I've got to say, thoroughly impressed with the team today. Come on, Blues. We're going on with a point. Right here, boys and girls. I've got a roast waiting for me downstairs, so I've got to do this outro pretty quick because I am fucking starving. But no, boys and girls, the match has just finished. 1-1, one, one, Southend and Crawley. Wow, what a game. To say we were losing this early on, we didn't look like we standing a chance and we were just going to do a repeat of a Morecambe. God, I was so wrong. That second half and towards the end of the first half, we were absolutely phenomenal. Nothing was wrong with that performance at all. Maybe you could argue a few mishap passes from Dimitri. He did do a few of those. But still, we have managed to come away with a point from a team in the top six who looked at the beginning of this day the favourites to win, the bookies' favourite. I've got to say, a wow, just to the team. 
since these first few games, that game has probably been our best in quite a few months. Even in League One, that's probably been our guess, best game for a long, long time. Man of the match day has to be Brandon Goodship. He has run himself into the ground today. Everything. He was on the end of everything. He was getting involved. He set up two almost great chances for, I think it was Elvis and for, who was the other one? Aqua on the one-on-one. -on -one. But however, boys and girls, a point is better than nothing. Would have loved three, but hey, what can you argue nowadays? But no, boys and girls, that is going to wrap up this week's video, I believe. Don't think I've got anything else to add. Hope you guys like the thumbnail, by the way. I'm trying something different with the thumbnails recently. Let us know down below if you like them. But no, hopefully Tuesday time, there's going to be a Shrimpers talk coming out, just talking about the ins and outs of South End. Hopefully you'll stick around for that. And for all you new faces around here, welcome aboard. And for any of you watching this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like down below. My name's been Diversity, and it goes, peace.